it is 20 years of work because we have older pieces uh, from 1988 to now and it gives a, a, a taste of all of the aspects of my work that I do not only my embroidered uh, work my embroidered painting pieces but uh, it's all my garden pieces uh, uh, the RFGA, the works uh, with photo, the installation, and uh, etc. It, it is women that I withdraw from the magazine. I choose the one that I find sexy. Maybe I like the powerful one. Maybe maybe I the way I draw, I render them powerful. Anyway, all of this work is for me to empower myself more than really empower the woman. I'm not here with a message uh, uh, to. To, to, to teach about anybody else's sexuality, or I have enough, already a lot of uh, problems and difficulties with my own. <laughs> you know what I mean? How did we all, uh, like people, men, women, uh, Muslim, Jewish, Christian, got into this, uh, this terrible situation where our body became our enemy? So repressed and so miserable. My drawing are my diaries. I don't know how to talk about them conceptually, like, uh, yes, it's about princesses and fairy tales and um, love. Like, this is my, my thing. I have been trained as in drawing because the painting teacher wouldn't teach me to paint, so I had to draw. So, so I had no other choice, and so everything that um, I do is, is about drawing. It's not to prepare the canvas. Uh, this is the full definition of the word uh, freedom, love, security, and peace. And their definition in Arabic, written and embroidered in Arabic, four panels. And I chose to show them in a non-Arabic speaking country because I wanted people to just look at the word and deliberately not understand them. <laughs> There's no understanding of this, of this word. When you see it and you don't understand the language, you just see it as as decoration, not important. This word, probably, they don't love the same way that we do, or they don't have security the same way we do. I wanted as well to prove to myself that those words still exist in our dictionary, and to prove to the other that we, we happen to have as well those words, which is not um, associated as well, media, with this uh, culture, with the Arabic culture anymore, because of all of the violence, because they put in advance all the violence and not as well, uh, the good things. I love Paris. It's a collaboration between me and another artist uh, from Iran called, um, her name is Ladan Charok Naderi. I did this piece uh, in 91. It is during this period, there was a lot of uh, terrorist uh, attacks in France. Uh, it was clear that anything Muslim is scary terrorist it's not good to be like this they have to look like us the same discourse that now after uh, september 11 uh, you in america have so we were thinking we don't we don't like that shadow either or we don't like them we don't want to be forced to wear this but as well we don't want to force the other people to unwear it. everybody is should be free and everybody should respect this choice we thought uh, that we wanted to to, to make this point so we did this um, series of um, visiting Paris as if we were like uh, uh, tourists and we just, this is the way we, we have been brought up. And it was very badly received in Paris at the time. <laughs> this is the ideal couples. It's kind of the skin that you want to go inside as well as straight jackets. I uh, wrote Barbie loves Ken, Barbie loves Ken, as a punishment. It's about a ridiculous couple that are a little bit um, mad, <laughs> obsessed. Since uh, 2000, 2001, I uh, have a series that is labeled RFGA, and it's in the title and in the signature, and uh, the RFGA stands for Reza Farkonde Gada Amer, and it acknowledges all of the painting that uh, Reza Farkonde has collaborated in. He's another artist I, I met at school in 98. He was hit by a very, very severe depression. He's a painter himself, and he stopped painting. Then in 2000 or 2001, he, he, started, he decided to paint on my canvas without being invited. So, but it started uh, this very beautiful dialogue, and he started to become better. And for me, it was very magical. 
it really developed my painting and um, it's important, I think a lot of my artwork comes from life. Mm -hmm. It's experience, it's like things happen by accidents.